What up, what up, what up, what's going on guys, your boy Jess, and welcome to part three of my career, and if you guys missed the first couple parts, definitely want to check them out, because there's an incredible storyline, and hopefully, and I know it's a very slim chance, hopefully, you guys are not watching this series anywhere else, and I'm not trying to be stingy, but I don't watch them anywhere else, I mean, hopefully you guys haven't seen this yet, you know what I mean, because it's, it's so... Um, I, oh my god, I love the integrated storyline where you can actually, you know, choose answers on what dictates how the storyline goes. You know, right here is asking me, you know, what team would I like to go to. And of course, me being a Bulls fan, I go on ahead and select the Bulls. So what this episode is, this is draft night. Obviously, you see from the title, I'm going ahead and get drafted. Now, my rival is Jackson uh, Ellis. So, um, I think his name is Ellis. I know his first name is Jackson. So, uh, right here, they give me like a personality test. And then, well, you're going to see a couple of um, the, uh, what is it, the pre-draft interviews from, I believe, the Pistons and then the Kings. And then you go on ahead and get into the um, the draft. You know, I have to buy my own suit. You know what I mean? So, that's cool. And th the storyline is just incredible. And, and hopefully, you guys just haven't seen this yet because if you already seen it, you kind of already know what happens you're probably not going to be interested in watching it but if you haven't man if you guys have been keeping up with it, it, it it's it's amazing and some people are leaving in the comment section like yo this this is incredible like I, i'm loving the story that's going on here and, and so am i i'm like when i first played 2k i didn't want to put it down because i wanted to see what happened next you know what i mean i wanted to see how the story portrayed and how it played itself out and whatnot so uh, it's it's amazing, you know. Uh, tomorrow I'll be uploading my first NBA game. Uh, right here, just a couple of questions that's on the uh, pre-draft personality test. I ask you, do you uh, want the ball? You know, of course. You know, uh, last shot of the game. Of course, I want the ball in my hands. Do you feel responsible to keep your teammates playing at a high level? Of course, I'm the point guard. You guys see the questions on, you know, whatnot. So, um, hope you guys enjoy the rest of this story. It, it, it all works together, and, and it's amazing. So I'll see you guys tomorrow for my first game. I'm out. Peace. Greetings. I'm the director of player personnel for the Detroit Pistons. We have the eighth pick of the draft and are looking for someone to be the face of our franchise. We'd like to ask you a couple questions and get a feel for how well you'd fit in with us. The team that we built here in Detroit was a rebuilding effort that didn't quite pan out. Obviously, it's difficult to predict the future, but I expect to see a fair amount of roster turnover as we work towards retooling the lineup for another rebuilding effort. How comfortable would you feel coming into a situation where the roster is in a state of flux? Oh, that's not a problem for me at all. To me, that just says that the people running the team want nothing less than titles, plural. It'd be an honor for me to play for a team like that. I just want to win, man, real bad. Interesting. Next question. This is a question we ask all our potential draftees, and I want you to answer it as honestly as possible. Where do you see your career going? What do you hope to achieve out of your career? Ultimately, what do you want your legacy to be? Wow, okay. So, I want my career to go wherever it takes me, as cliche as that sounds. Ultimately, I want to be the best basketball player and best team player I can be. At the end of the day, that's really all I can ever ask out of myself. I want to be remembered as someone who gave 110% every time he set foot on the court. Okay, that's all I have. I love what I heard here. We'll be in touch. Good game, son. I'm the scouting director for the Kings, and I must say, I was impressed with your performance. We have the seventh pick in the draft that are narrowing down our list of draft targets. If you wouldn't mind, I'd like to ask you a couple questions. Here in Sacramento, we have a lot of youth in the backcourt. I could see you becoming a big part of that, and it also means there's a definite opportunity for you to come in and take on a big role. Is that something you find appealing? Oh, absolutely. I'd love the chance to come into a situation with a lot of young guys who are hungry and ready to take that next step. I've seen Gravis play, man. I like his game a lot. And Isaiah's got some serious skill, too. Sign me up, man. I'd love to play for the Kings. Let's see. One more question, if you don't mind. 
We realize that here in Sacramento, we don't have the appeal of a Los Angeles or a New York or a Chicago. We tend to look for players who would be proud to be a part of this organization. Someone who can really take pride in being a member of the Sacramento Kings. Someone who's willing to spend their entire career as a member of the Kings. Are you that person? Yeah, I'd be honored to be a member of this organization. From everything I've seen, you guys have a rabid fan base out here in Sacktown. I'd love to be a leader on this team for the next decade. Thank you so much for your time. I don't want to get ahead of myself here, but we would be ecstatic if you were still on the board when it's our turn to pick. Man, you ready to talk seriously for a few minutes? Yeah, man, I figured you didn't just come over here to hang out like we used to back in the day. Yeah, not entirely, man. I mean, hey, I'll teach you a little lesson in some NBA 2K later. <laughs> you know, again. <laughs> Whatever, young. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to get a game in, but hey, let's get that business out of the way first, all right? All right, man, look, I know that you've been asked to do a lot to get ready for this draft. Heck yeah. I mean, besides the showcase, you got workouts and camps and interviews. You handling it all like a champ, man. It's just one last piece we gotta sort out. What? Ah, come on. What is it? Another private workout or something? With the Cavs? Nah, 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 Wizards, nah, nah. We we done with workouts, rockets, man. It's maybe? nothing like that. Hey, look. We gotta get you a suit. <laughs> a suit? Yeah. All right, I can live with that, man. Good, Do it. good, cause you know how this draft is, man. I mean. <laughs> Everybody's gonna be watching you, so you gotta make a splash. Uh, you seen our players in the past went all out? Yeah, man. Noah, yo, Harden. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> yo, yeah. man. No one's forgetting that anytime soon. But hey, I can handle it. You know, I look flying whatever I wear, baby. Mm -hmm. Uh, that's up for debate. I got two words for you: Junior prom. What? Yo, I was. Styling back then, dog. Uh, yeah, right. Styling. <laughs> Come on, son. Oh my Yo, God. Yeah, I feel you though. So what's up? What we gotta do? Hey, man. Look, don't even worry about it. I'ma front you some cash so you can get something that works. All right. But if you can, you should consider kicking in a little extra just to make sure you really stand out. But that's on you though. All right, I'ma think about that. But hey. Let's really get down to business. All right. NBA 2K, baby. Oh, come on now. Yeah, I'm going to whoop you, son. Uh, yeah, right. That'll be the first. <laughs> Don't be cheating, either. You all right, man? Just relax a little bit. Yo, what if I end up being one of those dudes just sits here forever waiting to get picked, man? Hey, man, look. I talk to everybody I can. Everybody agrees you're a lock for the first round, all right? It's going to be one of those moments you remember forever, all right? So just relax, man. Enjoy it. Yo, it's just that... Talk to me. It's just... I'm about to find out which team I start my NBA career with, man. I'm about to find out what city I spend the next few years of my life in. It's kind of surreal, you feel me? Hmm. Look, man. It's all a part of the ride, all right? Just relax. Hey, here come the commissioner now, getting ready to get things started. Good evening and welcome to the 2013 NBA Draft. For 60 of the world's most talented and dedicated young players, tonight marks the culmination of years of hard work as their dream of playing in the NBA moves closer to reality.
To all of the fans watching around the world and to those here with us tonight, thank you for joining us. And now, to the task at hand. With the first pick in the 2013 NBA Draft, the Cleveland Cavaliers select Anthony Bennett from Toronto, Canada, and the University of Nevada, Las Vegas. With the second pick in the 2013 NBA Draft, the Orlando Magic select Victor Oladipo of Indiana University. With the third pick in the 2013 NBA Draft, the Washington Wizards select Otto Porter from Georgetown University. With the fourth pick in the 2013 NBA Draft, the Charlotte Bobcats select Cody Zeller from Indiana University. Ah, oh, man, still nothing. I really thought they might have gone with him. Nah, man, they always looked like they were going in a different direction, man. Hey, your time's coming, man. Be patient. With the fifth pick in the 2013 NBA Draft, the Phoenix Suns select Alex Len from the University of Maryland. With the sixth pick in the 2013 NBA Draft, the New Orleans Pelicans. Yes, the New Orleans Pelicans. Select Jackson Ellis from UCLA. Seriously, man? I can't believe they picked Jackson over me, man. Hey, man, look, don't you even give it a second thought, all right? He played well in the showcase. You knew he had to go sometime. Hey, but hey, you're going to have the better career when it's all said and done. Man, I better. Otherwise, that dude's never going to let me live this down. <laughs> yeah, man. I feel you on that. All right, listen up. I have a feeling we're getting close. Yeah. With the seventh pick in the 2013 NBA Draft, the Sacramento Kings select the point guard from the University of Connecticut. Yes! <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, baby! See, what I tell you, dog? Woo! First uh, round, boy! Boys, you got the first round, baby! This is your moment! Hey, go get that lid! <laughs> My man! You did it! Yeah! It's great to have you here. Please, have a seat. Again, let me say how excited we are to have you a part of this organization. We had our eyes on you before the Rookie Showcase, and we were thrilled when you were still available at our pick. Thanks. Glad to be here. Can't wait to get started. Great. Well, we'll get to that, but uh, we have a contract to sign. I think we're all in agreement. Yeah, good to go. Well, here's the official paperwork for you to sign and while you do that I had the media team prepare a little welcome video for you. Welcome to the capital city of California, Sacramento. On the fork of the Sacramento and American rivers, Sacktown enjoys a sunny Mediterranean climate and has a beautiful green canopy, more trees per capita than any other city in the world. The Kings are a team that traces its origins back to the very beginning of the league and beyond, back to the 1920s. With a new ownership group committed to the passionate fans in Sacramento, great things await. And now, time to meet your fellow Kings. At the point, Isaiah Thomas. When he catches fire, he can pull up from three feet beyond the arc and knock it down. At shooting guard, Marcus Thornton can heat up at any time in a game. Incredible range on his threes. 
at the three spot. John Salmons, still one of the better catch and shoot guys in the league, a born shooter. At the four spot, Carl Landry. He might be undersized, but he can finish inside by keeping defenders guessing with his up fakes. And at the five, DeMarcus Cousins. You rarely get to see a big man with the smooth game that he has. The Sacramento Kings, here we stay. And that's just a small taste of what we have in store for you here. Yo, I'm ready to get to work. Just point me in a direction, let's do this thing. And I know the coaching staff is just as fired up to start training with you. In fact, they're waiting for you in the film room, so you better head over there now. All right, thanks, man. Looking forward to helping this team get some W's. Absolutely, and once again, welcome to the team. Thanks, man.